Hello everyone. Welcome to the third video of the Payments Byte series. In this video, we are going to look at transaction authorization processing. That is, what happens when a customer performs a transaction. In this video, we will cover what is authorization processing, what is DMS against SMS, that is dual message system versus single message system, and we will cover business and technical flows of an authorization and we'll briefly look at what is known as authorization versus what is office authorization. Before we start into details, some very basic terminologies that we all should learn. An issuing bank is the financial institution to which the customer applies and gets a physical or a virtual embosser. Issuing bank is the one which offers credit line to the customer and maintains association with them. And who is an acquiring bank? An acquiring bank is a financial institution that maintains the relationship with the merchant. Acquiring institution issues and maintains the POS terminals and also does the settlement with the merchant. Schemes are entities which interconnect issuers, acquirers, and various processes across the globe, forming a global network. Uh, examples being MasterCard, Visa, JCB, Rupay, Union Pay International, etc. So now let's see what is a transaction authorization. Whenever a customer uses a card for a transaction for purchasing goods or any services, the acquiring bank presents the transaction to the issuer bank. The issuer bank checks if the card and the cardholder are legitimate and does a bunch of other checks like the credit line checks, etc. And if everything passes, it provides an authorization approval to the merchant to proceed with. So at this point in time, the issuer puts a hold on the funds in the customer's account. However, the customer is still not liable to pay the amount to the bank. Only after a reconfirmation message provided by the acquirer that the goods and services have been delivered, in the form of a clearing file to the issuer, the issuer can then bill the customer the final amount and request the customer to pay. So let's understand a bit more about this two-step process called as DMS, dual messaging system. In case of a DMS, the first leg is the process which we are looking at called as the transaction authorization, where the merchant gets an approval from the issuer for the transaction. And in the second leg, the merchant through the acquirer confirms to the issuer that the transaction is completed. That is, the goods and services have been delivered. The acquirer sends a clearing file to the issuer. When the issuer receives the clearing file, it can bill the customer for the transaction. There is also an alternate method called the single message system, where as the name says, the issuer does not get a second message and can bill the customer from the first message itself. It is called as single message system. For example, when the customer does a cash withdrawal, the customer has got the funds already in hand immediately. So cash withdrawals, etc., are passed as a single message system to the issuer bank. Please do note, in the case of a credit card, usually the issuing banks do receive cash withdrawals also in the clearing file. This is just to be in line with the post transaction uh, process. Now let's look a bit more into the transaction authorization flow from a business uh, perspective. It's also called as a four party model. So when the customer does the transaction at the POS terminal, the POS sends a message to the acquirer. The acquirer does some basic processing and forwards the message to the scheme. Scheme forwards the transaction further to the issuer for decisioning. The issuer performs the decisioning and sends the decision to the scheme, which further forwards the response to the acquirer and then to the POS. In the past slide, we looked at a business view of a transaction flow. In this slide, let's look a transaction flow from a technical perspective. When the transaction is performed at the POS terminal, the POS creates an ISO 8583 message and sends it to an acquiring switch. 
generally pos creates an 8583 now you might think what happened at the atm an atm creates a proprietary format message not necessarily an 8583 so now let's learn what is an acquiring switch an acquiring switch is an application software used by acquiring banks which does end to end authorization processing for acquirers starting from terminal management terminal interface management scheme interface key management etc now when the acquiring switch gets the message from the pos it validates the message adds a bit of data elements to it and then encrypts any pin it received from the terminal into an acquirer working key that it shares with the schemes after doing all this processing it transmits the message to the schemes and schemes further does some basic validation on the message and converts any pin that it received from the acquirer working key format into an issuer working key format that it agreed with the issuer it forwards the transaction to the issuing switch and once the issuer switch receives the message it does the following checks if the card is valid also called as card authentication i mean if you're using an emv chip there are few data elements that the switch receives to confirm that the card is legitimate and secondly it checks if the customer is valid it is also called as card holder verification methods uh, basically when you enter a pin uh, we confirm that the pin is valid which confirms that the card holder is legitimate and it checks a cryptogram uh, you can see a hsm here so with the help of hsms uh the issuer switch validates the cryptogram and it works with the issuer's cms to check if the customer has enough limit to perform the transaction and velocity checks etc please note that the issuer switch itself is capable of doing what an issuer cms generally does but sometimes the issuer switch works closely with the issuer cms to perform the transaction decisioning finally after doing all of this the issuer forwards the decision to the schemes schemes forwards the message further to the acquiring switch which further forwards to the pos machine finally i want to touch upon uh, an important terminology that we all need to know called as an honest transaction as against an offers transaction an honest transaction is where the issuer bank is same as the acquiring bank in this case the authorization is not routed through schemes instead instead it is decision within the bank network itself on the contrary if the issuing bank is not same as the acquiring bank it is called as an off offers transaction and is routed through schemes thank you for listening to the video i'd be happy to see your feedback or any queries or any suggestions so please do leave a comment and do like the video if you learned something from it thank you